While organizing the task force, we are alerted to an enemy incoming, and by the looks of it, they have slipped past our air patrol. The enemy is heading straight for Milne Bay, and time is of the essence. We have no option but to recall the Wildcats to protect the skies. However, before they can make it, the enemy drops their bombs on their mark, causing chaos and destruction. The Wildcats are determined to take down the enemy and avenge the destruction they have caused. Outnumbered, four against seven, the odds are not in their favor. In the heat of the battle, one Wildcat rushes in and is quickly shot down, leaving only three remaining. With the odds now even more stacked against them, the Wildcats task has become even more challenging. But they refuse to back down, working together seamlessly, the Wildcats start to outmaneuver the enemy and gain the upper hand. One after another, they take down the Japanese bombers, expertly dodging enemy fire and returning it with precision. Despite the loss of one of their own, the Wildcats remain focused and resolute, fighting with everything they have. In the end, their efforts pay off as they successfully take down all seven Japanese bombers and emerge victorious. In the midst of a crucial operation, we receive an urgent alert. An enemy aircraft has been detected in the vicinity of our supply ships, which are currently heading north. The ships are vital to our mission, and we cannot afford to lose them. The situation is dense, but we are ready to defend our assets. As the enemy aircraft approaches, our supply ship's anti-air defenses spring into action. The enemy aircraft is now caught in a pincer movement, with our supply ship's anti-air defenses firing from below and our Avengers closing in from above. The situation is dire, our Avengers swoop in for the kill, sending the enemy aircraft spiraling down into the ocean. Two hours later, we receive a message from our Tambor-class submarine. The Tambor is a reliable and formidable vessel, known for its endurance and firepower. As we approach the area, we find the Tambor-class submarine heading straight for a Japanese task force of their own. The task force is led by an Aoba-class heavy cruiser, a formidable opponent known for its heavy armor and powerful guns. The Tambor is eager to get this war started, diving to the depths at full speed to get the perfect 90-degree angle of the fleet. As we get into position, the Tambor rises back to periscope depth. Through the periscope, we size up the beast in front of us. The Alba-class heavy cruiser looms large, its guns bristling with menace. But the Tambor is not deterred. We take aim and fire four torpedoes at the cruiser, hoping to shatter the task force and gain the upper hand. As the torpedoes gain pace, the Tambor dives deeper, evading the enemy's counterattack. But luck is not on our side today. Only two of the four torpedoes connect, listing the Alba-class heavy cruiser to starboard. It's a sorry state of affairs when the torpedoes don't do their job. And the task force remains largely intact, but the worst is yet to come. As we attempt to evade the enemy's depth charges, our rudder and propeller are heavily damaged. One after another, the depth charges rupture our electric engines, causing the flooding to start taking us down. We're descending rapidly, and the pressure is increasing. Desperately, we try to maintain control, but it's no use. The Tambor is in a death spiral, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. As we plummet to the depths of 390 feet, the hull begins to groan under the immense pressure. The Tambor begins to implode on itself, the pressure too great to withstand. It's a tragic end to a brave submarine and its crew, 